A question that came in um, earlier today regarding uh, cabinets. So I was given this screenshot, asked how do we create a cabinet like this, uh, this wood one right here that was uh, done in SketchUp. And it seems like it should be relatively easy and intuitive using the ARCHICAD cabinets. However, the question is in particular focused on this rail across the top right below the countertop. How do we make that show up uh, without having a picture frame all the way around? Uh, so I have a few different options down here that I want to look at. Uh, this would be my first intuition would be to um, basically set this up so that there's a cabinet that shows the drawer and the doors and a cabinet that's just the carcass. Uh, so if we pull this over here, we can see basically an empty box and then this fills in. Uh, by pulling this down, we get that rail across the top. We could obviously put a beam or something in there and trim that out so we don't have that uh, cabinet shell. Uh, the issue is, if we were to pull this over here and just take a stab at how this could work, let's go ahead and go to our segments and we'll say that we have two segments, um, two and a half feet, there we go. We'll go ahead and go to the segment details, um, uncheck uniform thickness, uh, segment one will be doors, segment one's always the bottom. We could set that to double doors uh, segment two is at the top, that's uh, drawer. Seems like it's all going to work out fine. Uh, obviously we can go to um, our front panels. We can say that uh, segment one has the framed panel as the image had. The nice thing about this is we get the integrated hardware so we can come into our knobs and we can say that we've got knobs. Segment one is going to be vertical. Obviously we can, oh, no, nope, I was on the wrong segment there. Let's switch that back. Segment one is gonna be vertical, there we go. Okay, so this all seems uh, well and fine. If I go to my front panel, uh, I know that we have this inset setting right here. Um, however, uh, there's no way to have that panel inset visible just at the top rail. It's gonna add it all the way around between each panel, uh, which is great if that's the design intent, but uh, much like Things like the stairs, the railings, the curtain walls, uh, even doors and windows, uh, they all work great uh, until they don't. Um, so we have to uh, basically break it out into separate components. Um, in the past, I've been a fan of modeling all of this stuff out of beams and columns and slabs and even morphs uh, to get it all together. However, uh, and looking at this, in, this case in particular, it dawned on me, uh, we could technically, so here's the elevation of that full cabinet, uh, we could technically model this as uh, a custom cabinet door. Um, obviously we're going to miss things like the, the door swings and maybe the cabinet panel thickness gets thrown off because I'm trying to integrate the hardware in here. Um, but it'll look right in elevation, it'll look close enough in 3D. Um, if we look at what this looks like here, uh, you can see that I've forced gaps here, uh, just like 30 seconds inch gap, nothing that's gonna show on the interior elevations, but it will give us that delineation of the rails and the styles and the sticking and all of that. Uh, so I get my shaker style panel, I get this uh, uh, lip up here, I have total control over what that looks like. Uh, so if I grab all of this stuff and go to file, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection As, and I'm going to save it as a cabinet door. And we'll call it uh, Shaker Cabinet Two Door One Drawer. Um, and actually, let's give it a name. So we'll call it Three by Three Foot Wide. Uh, that way I can just find it and rename it. Okay, we'll say okay there. Uh, the other thing I always do is, uh, if we go back into the library manager now, uh, let's check the embedded library. There's my cabinet door. I'm gonna grab that, copy that, um, and paste that. So this is what it's named. So if I ever need to make a change to this uh, collection of stuff, um, I have the name right here. I can grab it, well, grab this, copy.txt, grab this and go to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection As, Cabinet Door, Paste, and then I'm gonna override and replace. So if I've made any changes to surfaces or anything like that, um, it's gonna update here. So the cool thing about this uh, that I'm kind of interested in, um, let's go here. You can see I've already applied a test one here, but basically that custom cabinet door now shows 
uh, as the total segment. Uh, the cabinet itself does not have individual segments. Um, the segment details, it could be drawer, it could be door. Um, I have drawer because uh, as of yet, there is no drawer pull slash symbol, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, if, the door, if I set it to door, it could potentially show with the door swing and elevation if I don't turn that off by model view option. But you can see here I've got uh, the cabinet door. It has that top rail um, and the sticking does not come across the middle or frame in the outside. So it is just one cabinet door, but I get that level of detail that I was after uh, for my interior elevations and possibly even my renderings.